something else David talks about is the importance of, of planting. For getting uniform emergence, which has a big effect on the overall stand and, and the yield. And I, I know that you know uh, David talks about invigorate, uh, but there's also some some technical aspects of setting up your planter that you talk about that don't have anything to do with Genesis Ag that I want to share with you all. Can you talk about you know yeah. some of that well, tech that you? Well, we kind of realized that when the planter leaves the field, a third to half of your yield goal is determined, and once it leaves the field, you can't fix that. So we try to do everything we can. So make sure we have a good, uh, true V with a double disc opener set so we get that good seed placement. We also use seed firmers. Uh, we found that we've had decent success with the heat seed firmers. Make sure we get that good soil to seed contact. Then we start adding some um, treatments on our seed. But then we want to make sure that we have good close, closure behind the double disc openers. And we've kind of gone with the curve time closing wheels. And the seed depth, you know, you mentioned that. People want to know, well, how deep should you plant corn? Sure. We found good success at two inches. And that's kind of a good buffering agent. When temperatures vary, it's not going to vary too much at two inch depth. But then we want to maintain that proper two inch depth. So we've gone to hydraulic down pressure. That way, it's, if conditions get tighter, you get a little bit more down pressure. If conditions loosen up, the down pressure reduces, so you, you're not pushing your seed too deep. And then, if conditions are wet, then you don't you don't want sidewall compaction. And too much down pressure oftentimes gives you sidewall compaction. So we try to minimize that because, like you mentioned, uniformity and emergence. You can get corn to emerge within four to eight to twelve hours from the first emerging plant. That's when you're going to see your best yield. And the closer you get those to emerge uniformly, everything grows in a, a uniform state. Okay, so what you said there is maybe a little bit shocking to some people um, because people maybe aren't really looking at this very closely. And, and there's some other big growers that talk about this same thing. Um, David, can you tell us, like, I mean, I, I think that you talked about going out and doing a flag test you got from another grower. Can you explain what that involves and what they may see afterwards and how that sort of legitimizes what you're saying about even emergence? Yeah. Well, you know, it, it's neat to network with other people because you learn from other people's um, challenges. It's cheaper to learn from somebody else's right. mistake than you make them and then have the same result. That's what we're trying to do right here, right? Yeah. yeah. So, I heard one grower say he gets his best yields from corn evenly emerged uniformly. Had another grower down in Georgia said, hey, try this experiment. Plant your corn. Go back when you first see that first corn spike out of the ground. When you do, put a particular survey flag and pick a like 50 foot or 100 foot road length. And then when you see that first spike come out of the ground, we'll say, let's use red survey flags. Most growers have them because they just mark plots or something. So put red flags wherever you see that first spike that come out of the ground. Go back a day later and then change flags, put a different color flag where you see the next spikelets emerge, and then do that till all the corn has emerged. Now, don't, you don't even have to go back out in the field until you get ready to harvest. Go back out there and just start shucking your ears back and see the difference in the ears from the first emerging to the last emerging. And you see, most people are amazed at how much smaller and reduced numbers of kernels they have on the later emerging plants. And if they monitor it throughout the year, they'll see spindlier plants, shorter plants, or taller, depends on when they came out. So it's just striking. That's something simple. You're not costing any more money. You're just evaluating what you did to see how you can see the differences so you can maybe make corrections for the next coming season. 